Hey guys, so um, a couple weeks ago I put up a picture on Facebook and on Twitter and on Instagram. Um, I'll put all those links um, in the bottom in the description box just in case y'all want to follow me or whatever. Um, and basically I was talking about my skin and as you can see from the title of this video, it's going to be about skincare. Okay, um, just to refresh y'all's memory, I'll be talking over a picture or a previous video of me doing like a makeup tutorial where I wasn't wearing foundation just so you can see uh, my skin then and my skin now um, it's by I'm by no means where I want to be but I have made huge improvements my skin has made huge improvements when I compare it to October um, September October of last year okay um, so basically I had a few requests, I've gotten some Facebook messages and I've gotten um, some YouTube messages asking what am I doing for my skin and um, because people have seen that it's improving. So yay, it's noticeable, not just to me, so it's not a figment of my imagination. Um, but okay, so my skincare routine. Um, for what I do every day, alright, um, I left my makeup remover in the room but okay so as a cleanser I use um, Murad um, don't ask why I have a little size right now I meant to order a big one from Abbey U and I ended up ordering a sample set of everything so blah anyways um, what am I saying yeah so I use their clarifying cleanser okay from Murad all right, that's the cleanser I use, yada, yada, yada. To take off my makeup um, every night, I will use a mixture of grapeseed oil, vitamin E oil, and vegetable glycerin, and I'll rub that all over my face, okay? And I'll take off my makeup that way, okay? Sometimes I'll use a makeup wipe prior to that and then use the oil mixture. I find that gets um, all my makeup off better than anything else so I'm not gonna go spend twenty thirty dollars on makeup remover while I do have makeup remover like I have the one that I have in my stash right now is this um, makeup model model in a bottle one but that's for when I'm doing makeup and I need to clean up certain areas okay but to remove my makeup every night I will use grapeseed oil vitamin E oil and vegetable glycerin in a bottle that I have in my restroom which I forgot to bring okay and then I will wash my face with this Okay, morning and night, I'll wash my face with my Murad cleansing, um, cleansing condition, cleansing conditioner, clarifying toner. Oh my gosh, can you tell I only do hair videos? And then um, for my toner, I use apple cider vinegar. Okay, and this is Bragg's apple cider vinegar that you get from stores, health food stores or regular stores. I'm not sure. I get mine from Sprouts. It's a store out here in San Diego. Um, and I put it in this bottle and I use apple cider vinegar. It stinks. I don't cut it with anything. I don't cut it with water. I don't cut it with anything. Um, and I just get a couple drops, just rub it all over my face and let it settle in. Okay. Um, night times, I will put this on over my face. After I put my apple cider vinegar, I'll use the exfoliating treatment, exfoliating acne treatment gel from Murad. And put this on my face and then at night times I'll put vitamin E oil just from my eyes just so I can keep that skin supple because I've seen wrinkles here now and I don't know if it's because I'm like super fat right now or if that's just me getting old but I don't like it and it's getting on my nerves so yeah so vitamin E oil every night around my eyes okay for exfoliation um, and I exfoliate my skin twice two three two uh, two to three times a week um or more i exfoliate my skin however much i want to exfoliate my skin i don't have an exfoliating type cleanser thing i will use this here and this baking soda okay and i know a bunch of people are gonna give me side eyes but i don't care it has worked for me and it's cheap and it's baking soda and it's not harsh on my skin um i haven't seen any um like burns or anything on my skin if that makes sense and what i'll do a lot of times is i'll if i'll just get my cleanser that i use 
put a little bit of baking soda in my hand, rub it together, and then rub that on my face. So it, it gives me an exfoliating, um, clean, exfoliating um, cleanser, okay? Um, I also do chemical peels, and I'll do those once, twice a month to three times a month, depending on if I remember to do them. And I use these peels right now. I got them off of Amazon. Um, I haven't had any adverse effects to them but I want y'all to check out the peeling queen ebony her channel and I'll link the video that I'm talking about where she goes in to talk about chemical pills um, she is a licensed esthetician wow esthetician and um, that's basically her business that's what she does so she knows her stuff and she could tell you like I'm always like okay what do you recommend for acne here? <laughs> you know, like that. Because I like picking her brain and she's very helpful. So I want to direct y'all to her um, when it comes to chemical pills and that kind of stuff. Because I am not a professional. Um, I'm not an esthetician. I don't deal with stuff like that. So please go check her out. But yeah, so I'll do these chemical pills. How I do them, I put, I get a little bit of the chemical pill on my cotton ball. Put it on um, my face. Leave it on for as long as I can stand and then wash it off and then um, go go ahead and buy my business and um, yeah so and then once a week I will use this mixture here okay it is a clay mixture and in it I have neem powder alma alma powder and um, benzenite clay so it's mostly benzenite clay that I dumped a packet of alma in it and then I dumped a packet of neem in it okay and I do I use this once a week usually on the weekend Saturday or Sunday and I'll leave it on my face for about 20-30 minutes let it dry up get hard and stuff and then I'll wash it off with a with hot water okay another thing every time I wash my face I don't use a towel or anything I actually use paper towels and I know it's bad for the environment but I like my face more <laughs> if that makes sense uh, I go through paper towels I don't go through them like super fast or anything I buy a bulk pack at Costco and it usually lasts me like four or five months or whatever and I um, wipe my face with a paper towel every time I wash it so I don't use cloth towels or anything because I find that since I've been doing that and I got that tip from Border Hammer here on YouTube she was saying that she uses toilet paper but that like leaves leaves stuff on my skin so the paper towels work really well and I found that it's cut down on my breakouts a lot okay like I'm breaking out right here right now these two places and I think that's because um, I'm about to have my period pretty soon but Otherwise, I haven't had breakouts. I had one here like last week or two weeks ago, and I don't know why, but as far as break breaking out, like those of you who have watched my older videos, those of you who have been with me like since I started YouTube, knows know and have seen that my skin is super prone to breaking out, like very prone to breaking out. And I do wear makeup and I do wear heavy makeup. I wear foundations that are full coverage and all that kind of stuff. So for me not to be breaking out like I am not right now is awesome. Okay. Um, let me see. I also use um, this minor kind of, uh, what's the word? sloughing if is that I don't know if that's the word when you slough off skin or whatever anyways this is like a mini kind of peel I don't want to say peel because I don't think it's a peel peel but um it helps skin to kind of slough so like after I use a, a peel about a day or two after I'll use this and I'll kind of get off that first layer of skin and kind of expose the second layer of skin that I really want to see or whatever and get off all the dead stuff or whatnot so I'll use this and this is called Vivo La Vivo Per Lay Dead Sea Dead Sea Minerals. And I actually just got it at um my mall out here. Um it's pricey, but I got the guy to give it to me for like 30 bucks. So, you know. Um and the last thing that I do and the thing that I think is helping the most, the most with my skin. Um, I went to a dermatologist and they prescribed me retinin A. Okay, it's a topical acne treatment. Um, and basically the acting active ingredient active ingredient is um, vitamin A, beta carotene, 
that kind of stuff that you put on top of your skin okay so um i was also taking um a hair skin and nail vitamin at the time um and it was by Ni nioxin okay i stopped taking it around the time i went to italy rome italy um france all the places last year and i noticed that on that trip i started to break out when i hadn't had breakouts like bad breakouts for a while before that and i started taking it again or whatnot and i realized that it was something in those vitamins that were helping my skin to kind of calm down and over the process of elimination and researching i realized that it was the vitamin a okay and then i was like oh retinin a here we go connection 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 right so i take vitamin a okay and here's what it is now this is a fat soluble fat soluble vitamin okay which means that um as far as vitamin goes you have water soluble and fat soluble water soluble you can piss out fat soluble you can't really piss out so it will collect in your fat cells okay and so you can od if that makes sense on fat soluble vitamins the um, upper intake levels are a little bit lower than if you had water soluble vitamins okay which is why when people eat a lot of carrots or have a lot of vitamin A in their system you'll see they're kind of getting like a yellow orangish tint on their nail beds and things like that okay so I only take um, these are um, 10,000 IU's okay and I only take two to three every day okay um, because greens are not my favorite thing to eat okay I hate spinach I hate like mustard greens and all them I hate them so it's hard for me to really if it's not lettuce I don't eat greens okay so it's hard for me to get the amount of vitamin A that I really need in my food and I'm not a big carrot eater either so yeah so this helps me and I think this has made the biggest difference in my skincare and it's what I'm crediting because as soon as I like if I forget to take it for like a week or two I'll start breaking out and I know it's it, it's the vitamin A so yeah guys so I think I talked about everything if y'all have any questions please leave them in the bottom or in the comments and I will try to get to them um, I'm I'm trying to get as many videos out as I can because I am actually graduating at the end of February from my public health program that I am in right now so for the next couple weeks I might be MIA with the videos so apologies ahead of time but I'll be finishing my bachelor's and I'll be starting cosmetology school which is something that I've decided that I actually wanted to pursue so if I don't have time to get two videos charge it to um, me being busy and not my heart because y'all know I try to respond um, but yeah guys so if you have any questions leave them in the bottom bar and hope y'all liked it and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.